Alrighty bros, I think my car gave me an early birthday present. Because I'm pretty sure that the gas gauge fixed itself. See, I put the stuff in there. Gas is going down a ton, man. All right, make sure your cap's on properly. It is on correctly. Close it properly. See, for taxes. And we're about to hop back in and see if it fixes itself. Moment of truth. Ready, set. Full tank. Yo, it did. It fixed itself, bro. <laughs> it did. So that saves me a hell of a lot of time for tomorrow, man, because I thought I was going to have to be driving down an hour to get my, uh, my fucking gas thing fixed, bro. bro so the first thing that I want to tell you about and it's probably the biggest issue that I've had with my car is there was a valve piston or some sort of a valve or something I will put it on screen I'll probably end up taking a picture of the actual like paperwork that I got from Toyota but on Christmas of 2019 on the way home from my mother's house my engine actually blew like I did not have my car for about a month and a half because they were replacing the front header the rear header they basically rebuilt my entire motor and no I was not beating on it I was simply driving down the highway and all of a sudden like it didn't even make a noise like my car just like immediately shut down but you know so that's something to take into consideration because you know i always say that i'll never go through a private sale and the reason that that is is because of the warranty think how much that would have cost me if my car was not under warranty it would have been a lot more money that than the extra money i paid going through a dealer you know what i mean so that's the first thing the gas gauge fixed itself. Clearly you saw that, so I don't need to mention that. As we go on, we remember all the times we spent together as our lives change. So the other issue that I've had with this, and it's something that a lot of people actually have problems with, with the FRS, the BRZ, and the GT86, is the fuel pump. Again, that's something really expensive, and I had to replace that. Basically what happens, I'm sure a lot of you guys are very familiar with that squeaking that a timing belt makes when it's, about, when it's going bad. It's very similar to that, it's just not as loud. You know what I mean? It's just not as loud as the timing belt. So we got the blown engine, we got the fuel pump, and the only other issue that I have had is that gas gauge, but apparently that fixed itself. And would I recommend this car? Even if I did not have the warranty, the driving experience with this car is freaking insane I love this car I would not have it still after those things happen to my car I still have it I wouldn't get rid of it and it's because I love the car so I don't want any of you to think that what I ended up saying is me saying don't buy the car because that's not the case whatsoever I recommend this car to anyone man it's a super fun car it's the best I've never driven a car that feels like this. 
but I wanted to be honest with the issues that I personally have had because if people ain't honest with problems they have with their car and they're just gonna say nothing but good things just because they love it you know what I mean it's kind of pointless to even give feedback on the car period you know so those are really the only things that I don't re I I would say bad about it I expect a video on all the things I love about it now all right so instead of showing you the freaking paperwork of my engine blowing I have proof of my parents right here how long did I not have my car and my engine blew we're going over reliability with my car yeah it was about a month month and a half that I did not have my car because my engine ended up blowing And honestly, bro, all of this crap was like extremely freaking frustrating, like beyond frustrating. So if there's anything that's like bothering you with your life right now, just think about all of the awesome stuff that you plan on doing, because that's just going to small those, small those. That's just going to push, <laughs> it's just going to push those small things that are annoying you out of the way. So. You know, the worst part of all of this for me is I bought my car way down in Massachusetts. So, um, in Boston, Massachusetts. So, when I had all of these issues, Boston is like a three and a half hour drive from where I live. And the reason that I ended up buying it there is because in 2020, even a car like a BRZ FRS and a GT86 they're all automatic, man. So it's like, I had to drive down to Boston unless I wanted to get a freaking automatic car, which is not, I've always driven a manual. So when this happened, the worst part about everything is I had to pay for a rental because I didn't have my car when my engine blew. The fuel pump I just waited for, that didn't take them very long to end up doing. But it's just like, Having to pay for an, a rental, not having my car, it was just extremely frustrating, man. But anyways, you know what, man? That's gonna bring us to the end of the video. Again, like I said, if there's anything bothering you with your life right now, just think about all of the awesome stuff that you plan on doing. Because all of that crap that's annoying you is just gonna be blown away because of all the great things that I know you're gonna do with your life, but yeah. That's going to bring us to the end of the video, man. You know what to do. Throw a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.